Welcome back to Nazarethov's channel, my dear YouTubers. I would like to show you the issue that I'm having uh, with my laundry machine and I want to show you how I'm going to fix it. So this is my Whirlpool. It's called Whirlpool Duet. And when it goes through the cycle, whether it's a normal cycle or delicate, or any, 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 whether a quick wash, Sometimes the code comes out here, it says uh, F21, F21. So what happens, there is a filter here, you get clogged uh, and you can try fixing that by opening it up the valve and draining the water and cleaning the filter. But also there's like a little impeller motor in there. Over the years it, get, it, goes, it goes bad, you know, sometimes it's that. So F21 code, if you see F21 right here flashing and uh, it's either the filter is clogged on the bottom or the motor, the pump is actually broken. So I bought a pump on Amazon. I'm going to show you that. So I bought this pump, replacement pump for my Whirlpool. And this is where the filter is. This is our motor. So motor impeller, that's the connector right here. So it's identical to what we have in the original unit, the Whirlpool. So when you see code F21 on your washing machine, um, you have to open this valve, like you have to open this. You gotta turn it, it's kind of hard to turn this. So you get this thing out and usually there, there's like a socks or some kind of piece of clothing gets stuck here and the pump cannot pump the water and you'll get code F21. You see this little impeller inside there? That's where the code comes in, F21. So first thing you have to try cleaning this. If it doesn't work and you keep having issues, then it could be the motor. This Whirlpool uh, that I have, it's old, it's since 2010. I bought it brand new, so I never changed the motor, the little impeller that's inside here. So I decided to buy this whole unit and see what happens. It's identical to the original, but this one is like aftermarket. But uh, it looks exactly the same. This is the part number here. Oh, there's no part number. Oh no, there's BPX40127 drain pump. A lot of them are kind of universal. So this should work. I bought it on Amazon for $25. And also here's the uh, number, W101-35045. And let's go ahead, give it a try. I'm gonna replace this and hopefully it'll fix my F21 error code for, for good. Because once I cleaned this, it worked for many, for like a few years, it was fine. Sometimes I'll pull up like a quarter or socks or something, you know, and it would clear the F21 code. But right now, pretty much every other time I do like laundry, this code comes back but the filter is clean so I don't know I'm gonna just replace this whole unit sometimes this impeller motor goes bad doesn't pump the water well so I'm gonna replace it so guys most of the new models of uh, washing machines they don't have this panel usually it's on the back so if you want to get access to that filter and clean it you have to take the whole unit out turn it around take the panel out and then have access to it but on this older unit, this older Whirlpool front loader, I have this panel. There's just four bolts. Now there's like one, two, three, and it just comes out and you'll see the pump. So um, yeah, let's remove this panel. Save you a lot of money. There's one. And over here, we have another. So this panel, this panel, there you go. It comes out. And 
here is our motor, the impeller. As you see, I already removed this uh, filter many times before, clean it over the years. So you just turn it counterclockwise, see if it's clogged on the inside. So I'm gonna show you that. So before you remove this filter, before you open this, make sure you have like a shop vac, you know, because water is gonna start coming out from here. Or pull like a rag down here and uh, make sure you catch all the water. So just take these big pliers, start turning counterclockwise. It goes hard now, it goes easier now. Oh, see all the water coming out? Make sure you have a shop back. So this is our filter and it's a little bit dirty, but last month I took it out and I clean it and I'm still receiving code F21, some of the cycles. I'm gonna replace this whole unit. Well, usually it works when you clean it and your washing machine should be fine. But in my case, I did it a few times and it worked for a while and then again, error f21 would come out so we're just going to replace this whole thing the first step what we're going to do unplug the power we're just going to unplug it put it on the side now once the power is unplugged i'm going to take this connector right here as you see here it's supposed to on it there's a tab on the other side you just push on this little tab right there on the opposite side and it just pull this connector out you see this little tab you push on it and pull this connector out like so all right, next thing what we're going to do, I'm going to get my pliers and squeeze that metal clip and we're going to slide it out of the way. Also, there's a little clip here, right here. Let's first do this one. Got my pliers. There you go. And it's off. It is very easy. Push it to the side. So now since we removed this part, this clip, we have to release this one right here. It's like a metal bracket. So I gotta like put a flash flathead screwdriver, kind of like twist it and release it. There you go, it came out nice and easy. And you have to lift this rubber piece up. See, lift it up. It's hard to record with one hand, but once this rubber piece is up, elevated, lifted up, you can just slide this motor sideways 
and it's supposed to come out. All right, here you go. There you go. It comes out. And there goes our motor. There's a lot of water there too. So make sure you have some kind of towel or a shop whack to catch all the water. And there you go. And this is this is the area where the motor slides in. Right here. So you lift the rubber piece up and slide it to the right. It's gonna come out. This is our old unit. And there's an impeller on the inside. See the plastic piece right there? And I don't know how to test it, but it's supposed to feel on the inside. If you hear it clunking, if it's loose, it's just bad. So the error F21, it's either this is plugged, clogged up very nicely, or the impeller is bad. So over the years, this pump served me well, it worked, and I'm just gonna replace it. It's not that expensive, 25 bucks I paid for the motor. I'm just gonna compare side by side to the new aftermarket one. So this is our old pump, and this is our new one. It looks identical. Even the numbers PA, there's some PA here. The bottom part looks exactly the same. This is the motor end, motor part. Oops, don't wanna drop it. And this is the old one. So it's pretty much identical. I'm just gonna test it out, I'm gonna plug it in. And, and also, don't worry about this clamp. See the one right here? Because the new unit comes in was this kind of clamp which is actually better than that one I'm gonna install that now this uh what do you call this filter it's exactly the same all right let's just install this back and once you turn this it's gonna stop at this edge so you turn it and then it's gonna stop as you see it stopped here and it doesn't go any farther so let's install this unit back first thing we got to do kind of lift this rubber piece up and we're gonna align the pump with this hole and this hole and then slide it to the left so align the first in first opening then like so and then slide this pump to the left that's it and then push this rubber piece inward now once the pump is seated see you try to feel it with your hand uh, i'm going to take this uh, hose right here and i'm going to reconnect this was this pipe but don't forget you need this ring right here not this one you can get the new one we're gonna install that and install that now to install this clamp it could be a little bit challenging you need two hands and the pliers to put this ring over this rubber and then squeeze here and then just push it in so for this part i need two hands because we need to push this unit push this hose onto the here but you need to squeeze the clamp so let's do that so as you see here i squeeze this clamp with pliers and then push this rubber hose onto this connector here and until it hits this plastic ears right here, and it stops. 
So now in this part, we're gonna do the same thing, but with this big fat hose. So I need to use my pliers, squeeze it, and then push this clamp over here. As you see, these big pliers that I have, I squeeze this clamp and then just slide it over this rubber part right here. Because you don't want to have any leaks. Make sure this clamp is good. Now, once that clamp is on, that one is on. You open this plastic piece, take our connector to the motor, and just push it in. Only goes one way. That's it. Close it up. All right, let's double check. This is closed. This motor is sitting nice and tight in these little holes and this rubber piece in place. Now we have clamp there, clamp there. We're gonna go on a quick cycle. I wanna make sure nothing is leaking, make sure this pump is working. I'm gonna turn it on, quick wash. Let's hit start. And hope there is no leaks, but I put those clamps pretty tight. So the machine is doing quick cycle. I'm looking for any leaks. Uh, so far so good, but the pump did not turn on yet because it's not time yet for that. I'm just waiting until the pump turns on. And there you go. I hear something going on. Yeah, it's draining. But it's working. So far, so good. I can hear the water. Yeah, I can hear the water rushing through the filter. Everything looks good. So far, everything looks good, guys. The pump is uh, functional. It's draining the water. There are no leaks here. I put the clamp nice and tight. Same thing, I put like new clamp that came with the new pump. Put it on the top of this hose. And uh, yeah, it's good, it's working. Also on the top here, we don't have any error codes. Usually by now I would see F21 and it'll be flashing, but right now nothing going on. This pump works just like the original. It's just one difference on this one. The connector was a little bit different. As you see on this motor, connection are horizontal and on a new pump, they're like vertical, like this way. That's the only difference that I see. But uh, I believe this old pump uh, had a failed impeller it's my best guess, so I just bought the whole unit and replaced it. I want to show you guys the issue with this pump that I had, the original one, why it wasn't pumping well. It's very easy to take the impeller out of here. You just turn it counterclockwise and you're able to remove the motor and you can see the impeller. It's completely loose, like it's moving around, but also it's all this gunk build up it's nasty it's just nasty guys and girls look at all the stuff that came out from in there in that old pump and that's why it wasn't pumping good and it was giving me the arrow f21 i'm sure maybe if i clean it if it work but i'm just gonna keep this pump just as spare but look at all the stuff that came out out of this pump so I decided to replace it. This impeller feels like 
feels a little bit loose too but that's the main reason why it wasn't pumping well because look at all the sand and i don't know what this is but it smells bad this is our old pump and the only another difference i noticed between this old pump and the new as you see on the new pump we have these screws here on the side see like right here and one here and on the old one we don't have screws they're just this plastic notches here so when you you can turn it counterclockwise and you'll be able to remove the impeller it's nasty i'm glad that i replaced this pump look at this i'm just gonna keep it a spare i'm just gonna clean it nicely this pump lasts me for 13 years so not too bad you know So I took it apart, the old pump, I clean it. I'm just gonna keep it just in case, a spare. Uh, and it looks cleaned up. The motor is clean. But we're gonna stay with the new product, the new pump. And nothing is leaking, do the final check. Nothing is leaking here, nothing is leaking on the side. We put a brand new clamp here on the top. And that clamp is on also nice and tight this filter turned all the way to the end until this notch and just know the difference the connector is not um, on the new pump is horizontal and this one is vertical that's the only difference and this pump has like screws here and here but it works it works everything works and we're just gonna put this panel back and that's it you might have a different model of Whirlpool or washing machine, but you just have to take your unit out, take the rear panel. You can easily do it yourself, but make sure the power is unplugged. And uh, this is totally DIY project. And these, some of these pumps are universal. They work on multiple different models. So just put a model number for the search and uh, you know, find the right product and just install it yourself. So thank you for watching. If you have any questions, put them below. And don't worry if you have F21 error. Start with a filter. And uh, if it's an old unit, just to you know, replace the whole thing like I did. So I'm going to put it back and we're good to go. Thank you for watching Nazareth's channel. And again, I'm very appreciative of your clicks, likes, and subscribe. Put any comments you want. And I know there's going to be some comments negative. I don't care, guys. I'm just sharing my experience. I'm showing you how to do it. So those of you who appreciate this video, uh, put a like, subscribe, and see you in the next video.